you see Cam Atkinson's game right now? Inconsistent. How can you, you've been around him, you know him better than anybody else. How can you help him get back on the track he needs to be on for, this, for him to be successful, for the team to be successful? I can't play for him. He has to. Where is it lacking in him as far as consistency? Be a little more specific. I don't want to be. Do you have a goalie for tonight, John? Yes, it's Cal. two periods weren't great. How do you address that as a coach in terms of not being frustrated with the inconsistency of the team and get them to happens. full 60? It happens. It happens to all teams. Uh, as I said the other day, the the key for us right now uh, in, the, in the last stretch of games here is trying to be as consistent as possible. And all that is is a concentration level. Um, so we're going to Hopefully we'll we'll get it done. You don't play perfect games. Uh, you just need to try to be as consistent as possible. If we're not, then we're, we're, there'll be some struggles. When you guys ran the power play combos yesterday, um, I don't think Zamula was was on a power play. Mm -hmm. Is he still going to cycle in? I know you liked what he what he brought up top. Is he's out tonight? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's out tonight. Yeah. Is that more a? a Factor in terms of just the rotation and getting guys in, or if you no, it's, like it's, he's he's leveled off five on five, and I want him to watch a game. Yeah. Is Risto healthy enough from the Risto's season? playing? Will you go twelve and six or eleven and seven? I'll go twelve and six. Delo's in and Risto's in. I, I I know you don't usually give injury updates. I'm just curious with with Lixell. He, his his stall is still there. Is he sick? Or? Sick. Okay. With with Delore, what are you hoping to see from him tonight? Um, considering he has been he's been in and out of. Just play. John, with the. I mean, like, is there anything particular? Or you know how he plays, yeah. right? I mean, you're asking me a question you have the answer to. I just want him to play, play his game, play hard, finish his checks. It's all the uh, obvious stuff that Dio brings. You get the, the sense, obviously, you said Cal start tonight. Do you get the sense that, I mean, Sam was great two nights ago, but in talking with. Um, you know, talking with Kim, do you get the sense that he might be wearing down a little bit? I know it's right after the break, but he's played a lot of games. No, we haven't even had that conversation. We're just just playing with Cal tonight, yeah. John, with the, uh, with the second and third period last game, is some of that a byproduct of the Jets are down 4 nothing early in the second? They're a good team. There's going to be natural pushback. Or do you, do you really yeah. think you guys can play better? Oh, no, no. We need to play better. It's a little bit of both. You're up 4 nothing. They throw caution to the wind and they just go. They don't care anymore. They're just going to play and play aggressively. And you, you naturally, as it happens in all games, you have a big lead. The team that with the big lead is a little bit careful, but we didn't play good. So it's a little bit of both and a lot of the first, the, the latter, or the last one I just talked about, we did not play well. Does it speak to, because I, I think I told you this yesterday that I spoke to Travis Sanheim in the locker room yesterday after practice, and he basically just said that you know, the players were frustrated as well, even though they beat a really good team 4-1 to one about yeah. those, those final, four, final 40 minutes. In, that, in your mind, as much as I'm sure you were frustrated that they played that way, are you a little bit, I guess not enthused might not be the best word, but excited that the players don't accept that and yeah. they are fresh because they know they can play so much better. I haven't spoken one word to him about the game. I haven't shown one clip of the game. We trust them. We, we know we know how they felt about it even during the game. When they were trying to get themselves out of it, they didn't. And sometimes when it snowballs, you don't. So we moved right by it uh, and, and just prepared for our next game against Seattle. I guess the, the difference, though, you know, let's turn the clock back to October. Maybe they wouldn't have felt that they could actually play that much better than they did in the first 40 minutes. Well, that, that, you know, as I said to you, once you get to the second half of the year in January and, and in this, and now we're in February, I think the team knows who they are and, uh, and knows what they can do. Uh, so with that, uh, w w when they've put, put together some a, a, a good number of games this year, and know how to play the right way, there's a responsibility to doing it all the time. So that's the key. It goes back to the first question as far as consistency. That, that's all this, these 30 games here is not reteaching who we are or, or going through that. <clears throat> we know how we have to play. Are we able to do it consistently each and every night and within that individual game that night? This goes back to what you said about, you said a lot, a lot of this in the beginning of the year about how 
you want to get to the point where you don't have to be in the locker room telling them things, that you want the locker room to be able to police itself. Mm -hmm. Is this a situation where you feel like it can? Well, it's a situation that there's an opportunity, right? And you, you got to give them opportunities and, and not be in there holding their hands all the time. I, I think our room, I, I've said it right from the get-go, I, I thought we had a great summer. It, it brought us to this locker room. We've slowly grown as a locker room, and I feel very comfortable with it. But now there's, and this is how you build. Now we're in a, a situation uh, that we put ourselves that we're still fighting here, right? And uh, now I want to see how guys react and, and the style of the game that's going to be played now at the end of the year by all these teams, playing a lot of teams in the East as we, after we get through this next couple of weeks. Uh, now we see how we react. We've given ourselves an opportunity. That's all we've done here is given ourselves an opportunity. Now we'll see if we can grow even more.